happening here today with the Boardman here, guys? We're here in Boulder, New York, and we're here for an emergency job. So, guys, we're right now, just looking right now, it's a common ice border. Something happened. We don't know exactly what happened yet. So, right now, the first thing is we got to do is clean the boiler. So, we have to take it apart, clean the fruit pipe, clean the chimney base, the heat exchanger, and make sure there's no soot or pork, the firebox, or the chamber. So, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to show you what it is to not only clean it, but then we're going to figure out what was the problem and what caused this issue, uh, what we have right now, which is carbonization. So, stay tuned. Whip with the boiler man here. So guys, first thing is first, we want to make sure that the boiler, uh, well, what causes it? So when you have a carbon addition of boiler, it's an effect. So something causes it. So right now, we need to figure out what the problem is. But before we can turn it on, we have to clean it out first. So what are we gonna do first? Remove the, and disconnect the actual flue pipe, which is the exhaust pipe going to the chimney base. So next thing is, we gotta remove the actual cover. So we have to remove the actual cover itself from the boiler, and then we get access to the heat exchanger. So guys, we have to clean up the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is packed up with soot from the top, and also you gotta clean it from the bottom, meaning you're physically gonna have to open up the actual, the front door or the, or the access door, what we call, or, or what we, whatever you want to call it, but we have to get to the chamber box, guys. So the fire box, chamber box, whatever you want to call it, we have to clean it from the bottom. So we have to clean from the top, or the breeze going to go to the to the bottom, and of course from the bottom and all those chunks of carbonization. So once we have the boiler cleaned out, the next step is turn on. So stay tuned, guys, because then we need to figure out what caused the problem. Stay tuned. Whip out.
me hit it. We just finished wrapping it up. We just finished cleaning out, decarbonizing uh, the boiler. So guys, decarbonization could be a, a numerous things. Oh, I'm sorry, what causes it? Meaning like usually it's lack of air. Um, in this case, it wasn't an issue. It also could be a bad nozzle. Okay, that that's, that does happen. Meaning that remember the nozzle is this small and the pinhole is, is really really small. And if the oil tank is not clean or it's full of sludge or just a little something small or, or gets inside the little pinhole, guess what? It changes the characteristics of the fire. And guess what? It's going to be smoke. You have a smoky fire. You will carbonize the water in due time. So guys, in this particular case, um, it looked like it was a combination of maybe just the vibration goes up the damper and also the nozzle even though it's new because we changed it a few weeks ago we're going to change it again so guys hey just another day with louis the boilerman here at new york boiler if you have any questions you have any question about a combination of a boiler feel free to call louis the boiler where 516-377-5200